Okay, we've already talked about two kinds of pop-up boxes, the alert and the confirm. Now we're going to talk about the prompt box. So let's go back to our web page. And our third button here is a prompt box. Now remember, a prompt box asks us for information. And so when I click on the button, my box comes up and it asks me to enter my name. And I've given a sample name here of Harry Potter. It is highlighted so or selected. So whatever I type will replace Harry Potter. So I'm going to type in Mark. And I'm going to click OK. And it says, hi, Mark. Let's eat. All right, let's eat. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's come back into Text Wrangler and take a look at the code. I'm up in the head section again, and I'm still in my JavaScript, and I'm looking at my last function. This one is called Show Prompt. So here I name the function, and then everything within these brackets is my function. So, let's go line by line. The first line says, create a new variable. And the name of this variable is name. And it is equal to the input that I get from the prompt function. Again, the prompt function is another one of these functions like confirm and alert that is part of JavaScript. We don't have to code it. We can just use it but we have to pass some parameters to it. In this case, I'm passing two parameters. The first one is the prompt. Enter your name in quotes. The second prompt, and note they're separated by a comma, the second prompt is a sample or a default value that I want to display within my data entry area. So then I come down and I want to make sure I got something. So I say, hey, if the name is not equal to null, N-U-L-L, -L, which means there's nothing there. And, and the way we specify, and is the double ampersand. Name is not equal to quote, quote, which is another way of specifying null. So it, the test is kind of redundant. And note that the not equal is an exclamation point for not and the equal sign. So if there's nothing in our name by any measure, we'll skip this line. However, if there's something there, anything there, we will write out to the document our message HI in capital letters followed by a space, and then we concatenate name to the end of that, and to the end of name we concatenate a period, a space, and the phrase, let's eat, exclamation point. And that's all there is to it. So, what we accomplished here was we got some input from our viewer and we used it to display something back to them. This can be very useful to us in our websites. So practice this one until you're comfortable with it. And I'll talk to you soon.